is get the skills and knowledge you need to meet changing FM demands. Uh, Randy Olson, who is the Vice President of Business Development, um, will deliver this presentation. Randy, over to you. All right, very good. Thank you, Lori. And uh, two great uh, demos to start off the session today. And I'm, I'm actually going to double down on a comment that Mike made at the at, in, during the first presentation where he talked about uh, creating value, FM's uh, creating value to the folks they serve by empowering them with great solutions. So I'm going to shift gears a little bit here and talk about empowering people through uh, FM uh, training, education, and credentials. Our path forward um, here today will be um, talking about and sharing some data points from a recent FM training survey that we did that uh, really goes out and talks to the industry and asks them questions about um, how their um, dealing with current market conditions, how they're dealing with employees, with employee shortages, as Hillel just talked about, um, with, uh, with folks leaving and, and, and going off and seeking other opportunities. And then what, uh, what's, what needs are from a uh, skills, knowledge, and ability standpoint. Um, then we're going we're gonna to dig into the platform and uh, look at how you earn the, the Pro-FM. And, and look at um, all the components of that and um, the pieces of that. And then at the end, we'll, we'll uh, kind of wrap up with a special offer. And Paul, it appears like I'm having trouble moving the slide you forward. Click the slide once to take control yep. with your mouse. There you go. There you go. That, Paul, I appreciate that. So here's our path forward. So again, we'll talk about uh, the training outlook survey. We'll um, talk about how you earn the program and look at the, at the underlying platform for the program, we'll talk about a special offer at the end, and we'll wrap up with uh, Q and A. And you know, uh, funnel those questions as we go. Happy to address them as we go as well. Um, so, uh, why are credentials important uh, to facility managers and employees? Well, it's really about that empower empowerment topic that we talked about earlier. So in terms of benefits of FM training, um, the way we go out and do this survey is we, we ask um, employees to answer on behalf of their organization, for managers to, to answer on behalf of themselves, for managers to answer on behalf of their staff, and then for staff employees that have huge responsibilities to answer for themselves. Um, from a benefit standpoint then, um, managers say, you know, it provides better job performance, it increases confidence for themselves and for their staffs, and then it increases credibility for themselves and for their staffs. And then from an employee standpoint, increased confidence and credibility, career advancement, and better job performance going forward. So really that, em that empowerment piece again. Um, so, um, as Hillel addressed in his presentation with the heated mats, 79% um, of employers are struggling to find skilled FM talent and folks are, are seeking to move. So that's a pretty alarming stat if you kind of think that through. 66% of FMs out there have considered leaving or have left a position within the past year. And what motivates folks to stay at their current employer is you know pretty typical that increased compensation and benefits is a is a critical component to that but the thing that bubbled up especially in the 2022 outlook survey um training outlook survey was the opportunity for professional development so when organizations invest back in their employees um, that motivates them to stay at that organization and then through that training and development it allows for internal advancement. So those are the top three reasons to influence folks from leaving. 77% um, of FM managers say a credential or quali qualification is an important factor, an influential factor in hiring or promoting FM staff. And then um, over 80% of the staff said they would pursue a designation credential, they pursue education and training if the employer provided financial support. So the time is perfect, the time is now to invest back in your employees. So what I'd like to do now is, just, is uh, talk about how you get this, walk you through the platform, um, show you the ease of use of the, of the learning path in the platform, 
and then we'll uh, we'll move forward and, and uh, answer questions and talk about a, a special offer at the end. So the key um, kind of roadmap or pathway into the program is an industry defined standards based body of knowledge and a body of knowledge defines the knowledge skills and abilities that facility management professionals need to have today and into the future to effectively and empower them and effectively to effectively deliver that value uh, to their to the folks they serve um, the the body of knowledge is structured into four functional knowledge areas of asset management risk management business management and operations and maintenance so if you think about that risk management piece there was uh, the first two presenters talked a lot about safety um, the risk associated with slips trips and falls and the importance of delivering you know a safe environment to walk within and, and to move around the facility in um, so that would fit within that risk management piece along with the operations and maintenance piece um, so those those functional knowledge areas really think of those as the technical skills the technical knowledge needed to deliver great solutions then threaded across that are these cross-functional competency areas of communication sustainability, quality, innovation, and collaboration. And the way I like to define these is really those soft skills that are needed to deliver each one of these te technical solutions. So this is, um, this is considered each time uh, a facility manager is looking to deliver the solution. So this provides the, the roadmap, the pathway into developing the educational components to um, empowering those facility management professionals. Um, so how do you, you know, when you open up the box for the ProFM, what, what's in there, right? So there's reading materials, there's really five modules within the program, and that aligns uh, directly with that body of knowledge. So there's one for each one of those function, functional FM knowledge areas, and there's one of those uh, set of reading materials for the cross-functional competencies. Those reading materials are delivered electronically through an e-reader um, or optionally through print. Um, so you can get printed modules shipped to you um, and use those then ongoing as a reference. So that's really where all the content, all the educational material resides. Then on, it rides on top of an interactive online kind of innovative uh, set of study tools. So you get a user ID and password into a platform where you, where you log in and have access to the reading materials. But then in addition to that, a whole set of interactive tools that help guide you through the program and help you uh, bite off pieces of this and um, kind of systematically move through the program. And then last, we embed the assessments, really that seal of approval, that checkpoint, that benchmark, if you will, um, once you're prepared to do so, we, so we embed those exams and those assessments right into that same platform. Um, this is accessible from any device, um, anywhere, um, just through a, through a web browser. Um, it sizes based on device size, so there's responsive design here where you can use it on a phone, you can use it on a tablet, you can use it on a, on a larger screen. So then looking at the platform, once you've had once you've gained access to user ID and password, you log in and you're you're presented with a very um, easy uh, learning path through the program. So the ability to assess where you're currently at as it as it relates to the ProFM body of knowledge, then study the content. Um, and I'll talk about how you could study here in a minute, um, but the study component and then pass. So it's a very simple assess, study, pass. Um, so once you pick the assess piece, then you would, um, uh, the first step in this would be to take a, a pretest. And this really helps you understand your alignment and your, your current competency as it relates to the ProFM body of knowledge. So then based on that, you create a innovative um, study plan and a, an effective study plan using our smart study tool to walk your, your way through the program. Um, once you're prepared to do so then, and you've created that study plan, you would dig into the study tools, the, the actual content within the program through the reading materials, 
And then as you're going through the program and proceeding through the program um, and, and learning and gaining knowledge along the way, there's checkpoints along the way with quizzes, case studies, um, examples. Um, so those are done um, effectively through the program in both the online platform and the, uh, and the printed materials. The next piece of that then is the reading materials that are delivered um, electronically through the e-reader. Um, and again, you can use this just electronically or optionally get those in print, but you can walk through, learn and gain that knowledge and then move forward and use those quizzes to checkpoint yourself along the way. You'll see that this is an example of one of those quiz questions within the strategic and capital planning section of the, of the, of the course, um, where you answer the question, it provides um, the, where you right or wrong with the answer to that question, but it also provides rationale. So why? So what's the why behind this? Um, so you then learn to not only gain that knowledge, but then checkpoint that with how you would uh, deliver a solution. So really that situational judgment, that application of this knowledge to a real world scenario. Um, so then next, when you're prepared to do so, you go ahead and move through the final assessments and prove your knowledge, benchmark yourselves against the, the ProFM body of knowledge. And upon successful completion of that and in a appropriate passing score, you um, are awarded the ProFM credential. So the way the exam and the assessment is structured is there's a pure knowledge recall piece. There's 75 knowledge based multiple choice questions. Then in addition to that, um, you take that knowledge then and proceed with the application component of this. So not only what you know, but how you apply it, which we believe is, is very important in the FM industry. Um, through our work in this told us it's very important to not only have knowledge, but then how do I apply it to real world scenarios so I can be empowered and deliver the effective solution uh, that I need to to the, to the to the folks that I serve. Um, so once you've uh, gone through the assessments, achieved the passing score, you are awarded the globally recognized ProFM credential. Um, there's no additional fees associated with uh, with with getting uh, the ProFM. Um, everything is delivered as an all-in-one program. You can opt into an online credential registry. So if you're looking to pro to advance in your career, if you're looking to move up the up the ladder in your organization, or looking for um, outside opportunities, you can have yourself registered on our public credential registry, so folks can can validate. That you've actually gotten the ProFM, you'll receive this nicely uh, uh, printed certificate from our from our chairman Stormy Friday, um, and then also you'll receive a digital badge from us as well. The credential is valid for three years. Uh, during that three-year period of time, you'll need to achieve 45 um, professional development units. You can get those by attending NFMT conferences, attending these facilities net education um, opportunities and then build that over time. So um, we believe that it's important to stay current and relevant with the, with the program. All right, so I, I said earlier that I, and I promised that I would walk you through how you would be able to go through this program. There's um, really three, three effective options for going through. First is pure self-study or self-directed, um, using the reading materials that I showed you, using the platform that I, that I showed you and going through in your own on your own time um, through the program. So if you're motivated um, to do it that way, this is a great way to go. Completely self-paced. The second option then is taking that self-study option and adding some some coaching. So we have a set of uh, ProFM qualified instructors that are great at leading uh, folks through this material. Um, so you get the self-study plus then seven online instructor-led Q and A sessions. We have a set, we have an, our next uh, coaching uh, session will begin in early October. So it'd be a good opportunity to get involved in that now. And then third is a, is a complete instructor led option. So uh, going through every 
uh, piece and part of the content in a, in a classroom format. Uh, those classroom uh, classroom have, uh, classroom formats have returned some to in person, a lot of, uh, still online. Uh, those are typically delivered through a partner of ours, either a college university partner or an education partner of ours. Um, so, and those information about that is on our website in, at profmi.org. If you would like to take a team through and you want to do that as a as a study group, there are discounts available for two or more. Um, also, you can bring in a, a qualified instructor and have a class tailored specific to your team. And then um, during the month of September, we've got a, a great 20% uh, off now, uh, kind of centered around baseball and the and the pennant and the pennant chase that we're going to embark on here in baseball. So you get 20. 20% off on the uh, self-study materials if you act uh, before the end of September using the discount code home run. And then, um, as I mentioned a couple of times during the presentation, uh, we've got some a bunch of good free resources available on our site. Uh, that site is profmi.org. There's a really nice tool that allows you to, before you get into the program, map your um, your current knowledge, skills, and abilities gaps against that prof and body of knowledge. Um, in addition, um, you can get the full report of the training outlook survey that I very quickly went through some of the some results of that. Um, that's available on the site. And then you can try practice questions. There's a whole, there's video out there, folks talking about the program, um, helping you understand the body of knowledge. And then folks that have been through that have received um, really good value from the program. So with that, that, with that, I believe Lori, I'll open it up to questions and we are right up on the hour here. So I want to be respectful of people's time, but if there's a question I can take, I'm happy to do so. Great, thanks Randy. Um, so opening it up to questions, um, the first one is where do we keep track of the continuing education hours? Yeah, so as part of the program, we've got a, uh, a credential management system uh, where you would use the same user ID and password to log in and log your professional development units within that system. Um, it's a really um, easy to use, effective system for doing so. Great, thank you. Uh, next question, how does the coached self-study program differ from the regular self-study program? Great question. So um, no matter how you go through the program, um, the base materials are always the same. So you get the reading materials, the online tools, and the assessments. It's just how you then select to go through that material. So the coach, the difference in the coach is that you've got the uh, seven online sessions where you really, it provide, helps provide accountability into uh, the reading and the study that you need to do over that two year period of time. So it's the self study plus the additional uh, seven online coach sessions. Um, incidentally, those are recorded as well. So you can watch those back if you happen to uh, have a schedule conflict with any of those coach sessions. Okay, great. And then how does ProFM compare with IFMA that offers a similar program? Yeah, so uh, also another really good question. So IFMA has three uh, separate designations that um, by taking all three of those, you would um, kind of then align with the ProFM. So they've got the FMP, which uh, really covers four of these 24 topic areas. They've got the SFP, which is a deep dive into sustainability. Um, and then the CFM is a, um, is a certification where there's no education and training required, but it's a certification exam. So it's really a point in time, am I able to uh, pass this exam? ProFM is education that leads to the designation that covers everything included within that body of knowledge. So a little, little different structure. Um, so rather than take three, um, the industry told us it was important to have it all in one and have access to, access to all that knowledge and those competencies in one program. And then one last question, is the BOMI certificate, um, could that be accepted to complete PRO-FM? Yeah, so the, so the, BOMI, the BOMI FMA certificate um, 
it actually goes the other way. So if you have the ProFM, that they provide competency within the uh, within the bull my certificate. To get the ProFM, you have to go through the, the course, gain the knowledge, um, and get current on the knowledge, and pass the, uh, pass the assessments. But we have a, a gr good relationship with BOMI and have partnered with them for uh, a number of years. Great. Thanks, Randy. And if your question wasn't answered, Randy will get a copy of all your questions and can reach out to you directly. Um, and before we wrap up today's program, Randy, did you have any final thoughts for the audience? Yeah, you know, so there's a lot here, covered a lot of ground in a short period of time. I want to say thank you um, to the uh, facilities net team and, and thank you for everybody uh, for joining. Uh, more information, 